This is Jason with Chicago News, and this week we've got something completely different for you. We've got the 2017 BMW i3 with the range extender. This doesn't look like anything else on the road, and that's because it's really not like anything else on the road, but let's talk about the design first for a second. They've really gone kind of wild here. You've got these suicide doors that open up backwards, which we've seen on some other vehicles, but here you've got this funky design of the rear glass, you've got the rear quarter section. Everything about this screams, I'm different. Let's check out the other side, not because it looks any different, but because it shows you why this is different than any other electric vehicle. You might notice there's two fuel doors on here. One of them is for the electric fuel, you've got your charging ports, but then up here, you've actually got a gas tank as well. There's a two gallon cell in here, which allows you to power up the 650cc two cylinder engine, which is just a generator dedicated to charging the battery. It's clear just by looking at it, this is a really interesting vehicle and we've got lots to talk about. So let's hop in and check it out. This BMW i3 looks just as funky on the inside as it does on the outside. Some really interesting material choices that obviously they've used some reclaimed and recycled materials, but they want you to know that. They haven't tried to hide them. There's this reclaimed plastic on the top of the dash. It really ties in nicely though with this beautiful wood that runs through the dash here. It actually makes the interior look a bit luxurious even though it has these materials. Often like you'll find in some modern construction where they've used interesting materials in an interesting way, you get that feeling here. Not only are the materials unconventional, but the design of the interior is unconventional too. The way the nav screen is floating, the center dash display, the shifter controls, the way everything is laid out, the suicide door arrangement, everything about this car is unique and they're really going for stretching that, pushing the envelope with both design and technology. With 120 mile range on a full charge, this 94 kilowatt version of the i3 has as good a range as you're gonna find in any electric vehicle, but our test car has the optional range extender, which is a two cylinder gas engine, which unlike other hybrids, it's not designed to drive the car forward. All it is is a generator to charge your batteries. So you don't have to have, as they call it, range anxiety. You don't have to worry if you're gonna be able to find a charge port. You can always top the tank up and get 80 miles of extra range with two gallons of gasoline. So, you know, really a great, basically combination of gas and electric technology and what it creates is a vehicle you can use especially in this day and age in Chicago where you don't have the charging infrastructure of say a Los Angeles yet so this is a very usable electric vehicle in our market it's really unique driving and hearing the two-cylinder engine charging as you go we actually have no range on our battery right now and we've got 55 miles left of gasoline range so there'd be plenty of time to either find a charging point, get back to your garage where you would have your own charger, or to simply gas up and put a couple gallons in it. Performance wise, this is not by any stretch a performance car, but it is fun to drive. It's got enough power, it doesn't feel sluggish. It's an interesting driving dynamic. It actually handles pretty well. It's got a little bit of a numb steering feel. It's got some different things done to increase the efficiency that are gonna really hurt the performance and the handling. Very narrow tires, it's all really purposely built to maximize efficiency. All that really starts with the frame. This car is built off of a carbon fiber frame. They've really done everything they can to reduce the weight of the chassis so that they can put more battery power in the car. And the batteries are all down low, so this car has a very low center of gravity and therefore it's very stable. The low weight combined with just how tall this vehicle is means that if you're having a windy day and you're driving down the highway, you actually can feel it move around a little bit. It's hard not to look at this i3 and think it's a perfect get around the city vehicle with such great electric range, obviously regenerative braking every time you're slowing down, you're building battery power back up, but also just the size of it. Very short front and rear overhang, so you maximize interior space. The batteries and the power units are all underneath, so again, you're maximizing usable space inside 
and you know it's got such an incredible turning radius you're going to be able to get anywhere you need to go in the city now obviously there's a price tag associated to all this technology and our test vehicle is up around 56,000 which is a big chunk for a vehicle but when you think that most electric vehicles currently are around the 40,000 range with once you've put some good options on them you know you're getting a lot more with this just the range extender alone makes this way more usable vehicle and you get the unique looks of this BMW as well along with that a lot more functionality this is a very good vehicle to use every day it's got tons of space it's got great legroom headroom it's got great storage space in the back tons of pockets you got these huge door pockets lots of places to put things a couple small gripes though there's only one USB charging port which seems kind of funny in a vehicle that's all electric and the other thing is the rear seat is a little hard to get in and out of with the suicide doors but more so there's a little bit of a lack of headroom in the back again due to the funky exterior design not only is this a new idea for a vehicle how a vehicle is powered how it's constructed but there's some new ideas on driving experience as well here and the regenerative braking means that you don't really need to use the brake pedal very much at all in this car basically I'm gonna let off right now you can see we're coming to a stop and it'll come to a complete stop on its own the dash will change to ready and then you have to hit the throttle to get started again so just a different driving dynamic than you'll get in just about every other vehicle but it's actually really convenient you can really drive this car even in the city with just one pedal it's obviously got collision alert and automatic collision avoidance braking all the safety features that you might expect and a really good radar cruise control system really driving this vehicle you kind of feel like you're in the future so what do we think of this 2017 BMW i3 well this is as close as you can get to driving in the future it's got great hybrid technology that's not like any other hybrid where it charges the battery instead of driving the car it's got great value considering what you get and this is the future of automobiles design wise and interior wise this is as juicy as this watermelon boat behind us 